Hello and welcome back to Ajay Astromani Guru, your source for the latest updates and advanced analysis on various commodities. I am Nina and today, on the 8th of November 2023, we have some significant developments in the world of cotton trading to discuss. Ice cotton futures have dropped to a six-month low due to concerns about China's demand and several other market factors. Let's dive into the details. Ice cotton futures have faced considerable pressure recently, primarily due to concerns about the weak demand outlook in China. The strength of the US dollar has further applied pressure to cotton prices. The dollar gained 0.4%, making cotton more expensive for overseas buyers. In addition, falling oil prices have made polyester, a cotton substitute, more cost-effective. For some time, the natural fiber market benefited from a federal report highlighting a marketing year high in U.S. export sales, largely driven by China's return to the market. However, with the harvest season for cotton underway, concerns about demand from China, the world's top consumer, have weighed on trader sentiment. Ice cotton contracts for December ended at 76.48 cents, marking a decline of 152 cents. March closed at 79.37 cents, down 155 cents, while May settled at 80.49 cents, losing 151 cents. The fall in cotton prices was significant enough to flip the new crop to a carry premium over the spot deck contract, with an 82-point difference. Bearish factors, including persistent concerns over demand for natural fiber, led to a 5% drop in cotton prices during the just-concluded week. The Crop Progress report revealed that 95% of cotton bowls were open, and the harvest had advanced 8% points to reach 57% finished. The average pace would typically be 55% finished, with Texas at 47% and Georgia at 46% harvested. Monthly census data showed that cotton exports were 654,000 bales in September, marking a 37% drop from the previous month. This compares to 732,000 bales during September 2022. The Kotluk A index stayed and changed at 91.8 cents per pound as of November 6. The AWP for cotton was 68.11 cents per pound, and I certified stocks were reported at 81,932 bales as of November 6. Despite the overall bearish outlook, there was a surprising development in the U.S. Department of Agriculture's USDA weekly export sales report. It showed net sales of 457,100 running bales in the week ended October 26, the highest level for the marketing year 2023-2024. Approximately 70% of these sales were driven by China, with overall exports up 35% from the previous week. This year's demand is average compared to historical data, but the latest report offers a ray of hope, thanks to China. USDA also reported that 809,452 bales of upland cotton were classed this week, with 9,770 bales of Pima. This brought the all-cotton season total to 3.407 million bales, compared to 4.123 million bales last year. The final condition rating score remained unchanged at 29%. In international news, the Cotton Association of India, CAI, released a report suggesting that India would produce less cotton in 2023-2024. They expect a 7.5% decrease in output to 29.5 million bales due to lower planted area and the impact of El Niño weather conditions. India's cotton imports are expected to grow to 2.2 million bales in the marketing year that started on October 1, up from last year's 1.25 million bales. As we wrap up, the market focus now turns to the eagerly anticipated World Agricultural Supply and Demand Estimates WASDE, report, which is due on Thursday. It will provide crucial insights into the global cotton market's future trajectory. Before we conclude, Let's take a quick look at the speculator positions in ice cotton futures. In the week ending October 24, speculators reduced their net long position by more than half, with managed money spec traders now 2,667 contracts less net long at 25,057. 
Commercial cotton traders closed 10,800 hedges during the week ending October 31, reducing their net short position by 3,199 contracts to 58,285. That's a wrap for today's update on ICE Cotton Futures. We hope this information helps you navigate the dynamic world of commodity trading. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses and stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.